Higley High School's varsity baseball team has seen its share of victories and setbacks, but perhaps none as poignant as the journey of senior shortstop Shane Miller. From his freshman year, Miller showcased exceptional skills, a fact acknowledged by Higley High School Athletic Director Aaron Dilley. I've seen him start on the varsity team from his freshman year, which is very uncommon, but Shane has uncommon skills. He's been a multiple-time all-region player, and then we anticipate this year him making a run at Region Player of the Year. Adversity struck during Miller's junior season when a routine play led to a season-ending shoulder injury. I got on base early in the game, slid in second base, feel pop in my shoulder. Something just doesn't feel right. He's probably slid into a base, I'm not exaggerating, 5,000 times in his career, but just hit it at the wrong angle and the damage was done. The injury not only posed physical challenges, but also took a toll on Miller emotionally. Shane's father, Steve Miller, explains. That was the first instance where he's gotten hurt last year. It's more emotional than physical. The physical part's the easy part, but as a junior getting ready to go to college and play college baseball, he was kind of down in the dumps. The moment I had my injury, I thought everything was over. I didn't know if I was going to be able to come back stronger. Miller underwent surgery and faced a lengthy recovery period, during which doubts and uncertainties loomed. After my injury, I had surgery about a month later, and then I had to stay in the sling for about five weeks. I couldn't do anything baseball related for six to eight months. Yet, supported by his family, teammates, and coaches, Miller embarked on a journey of resilience. This has made me a lot stronger mentally and physically. Just being able to like, push myself through things that I know a lot of people wouldn't be able to push through. His teammate, Jordan Heraldas, echoed this sentiment, highlighting Miller's leadership and influence on the team. Shane, he's a really good leader, holds all of us accountable. He's a really good person overall, helps everyone when needed. Now as Miller returns to the field for his senior year, those close to him have been impressed by his determination to get back to baseball. He's shown growth and improvement in his game. And so I've been grateful to see him grow into the unquestioned leader that he is. Despite the challenges, Miller remains focused on his goals, including starting his freshman year at the University of New Mexico. I committed before I got the injury, but right after that, I thought my whole career was over, basically. As our cameras rolled for this story, Shane suffered another setback. Sliding into third base, he re-injured the same right shoulder, putting him back on the sidelines. I guess as far as supporting Shane with his latest setback, is just to be there for him emotionally and uh, support him in everything he's going to need in the upcoming weeks and months. He, he's a quiet kid, humble. Hmm? Needless to say, we'll be there. He's got a lot of support from his family and friends, and he'll be good. For now, Shane is resting his shoulder, but when the doctors give him the go-ahead, he says he'll be ready to play next season for the University of New Mexico. With photographer Kayla Trow, I'm Brianna Samperak, reporting for The Studio.